Going to be straight up with y'all, I didn't love Lois Lane as a character, based off the Superman anime that I've seen her in, which isn't much, all things considered. Basically amounts to the animated series Lois, Amy Adams Lois, and My Adventures with Superman Lois, which that one's pretty good, I won't lie, but it didn't make me love the character, you feel? And don't kill me, because I still haven't read any comics, or watched any Christopher Reeves films, nor Smallville, because 10 seasons are so intimidating, no lie. It wasn't until Superman or Lois, where Bitsy Tullock's Lois Lane really clicked for me, because of the great writing and fantastic show-stealing performance by Bitsy Tullock. First, Lois is so well written in the show, it really balances the investigative journalism and motherhood aspects really well. It makes the scenes with or without Clark so fun to watch. I like how Lois really knows her lane. See what I did there? And not try to force it when it comes to Superman level threats, because that's not her business to handle, so. Being this experience with Superman's business, I'm glad that's brought up and she's actually smart about it. But the aspect that really intrigues me about this Lois Lane is the mother aspect, which brings a different side to her. It explores the vulnerability of this esteemed, iconic Lois Lane. She's a badass dealing with corruption in her community, but she's also a mother trying to make this world a better place for her boys, because that's what any parent wants. But that weight of the world on her shoulders can make her crumble and it'll lead to her making mistakes that she would regret. Which is great! Not great for her family, obviously, but great for a good character's sake. Which, who doesn't love a caring mother? Speaking of mother, Bitsy Tullock emphasizes why this Lois Lane works. First, she balances off Tyler's Superman so well in more ways than one. And not to make this a competition, because the entire cast is great, but it's obvious that Bitsy is the best performer in the show. The way how she maneuvers through being a badass to immense vulnerability is so fun to watch. Obviously, you don't want to see Lois sad or nothing, but it's cool to see her not have everything all together. It makes her far more tangible. Season 1, Episode 8 is definitely the episode that showcased her talent. In that episode, you can see the restraint Lois has with being vulnerable because she knows that when she does, she'll break down and she believes that her family doesn't need that right now. But it's until when she finally confronts all of it, embracing her tears, she becomes an even stronger person. Which I find truly empowering. I can't really say it's empowering a woman, honestly, because I'm not a woman, So, I hope, but I hope it is. Since Superman and Lois is ending after Season 4 in 2024, I hope the next Lois Lane in James Gunn's Superman Legacy is great too, because we need more good Lois Lanes. It's crazy how my two favorite comic book shows at the moment Superman and Lois and Invincible have great mothers. I hope they both have great fathers. Oh, wait.